Today we're going to talk about restoring a damaged photo in Photoshop. We're also going to do some simple adjustments and some fun different layer adjustments that you can use to get some special effects for your photos. The first thing you need to do is to scan your photo in at 600 ppi or dpi. That's resolution it needs to be 600. We do it this high because that means our corrections can have a lot of pixels to work with while you are adjusting the image. So I already have my image here and in order to open it I'm going to right click it or on a Mac you can do control click and open with Adobe Photoshop and there's my image and it will open it in that 600 ppi format. Then I'm going to go to File, Save As, and I'm going to put my last name and Restore Damaged Photo. And it'll ask you a JPEG option, and this doesn't matter for this particular purpose because we're going to keep working with this photo. And you're going to need to make a copy of the background layer. You could do this by dragging down to the New Layer button or holding down Alt and dragging up. Rename this layer, corrected, and rename the background layer, original. And when you double click on this layer, it'll come up with this pop up and just rename it original. Now, when you're working, make sure you're on the correct layer. You don't want to make changes to the original when you mean to be on corrected. So make sure you're on the right layer. And at this point, you're going to restore any cracks or blemishes or other issues that you're damaged photo might have. And you're going to do that with your photo correction tools. Those would be your spot healing brush, possibly your red eye tool, or the cloning stamp tool. Those are the main ones that I use, but you can mess around with the patch tool as well, which could be helpful for you. So now I'm just going to start making corrections to this photo a little bit at a time. Remember that the spot healing brush means that you need to use small sections. I'm just clicking this to get it to work. And for large areas that need to be corrected, you switch over to the spot healing brush, or sorry, the cloning stamp tool. And to use this one, remember you hold down Alt and click the area you want to copy and then move to the area you want to copy over. So this line, I would want to copy over that line with this color. And I'm going to move slowly on this one too. And if you notice, I've got a cross right here that's showing the area that's being copied. And that is not the area I want to copy. So I'm going to change. Alt click in a different place and continue my work. This is a slow process. It will take a while to get it finished.